Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Premark My Perfect Colour Foundation and Liquid Concealer. Now, I reviewed their Matte Liquid Foundation quite a while ago now and I fell in love and it seems to be discontinued and they've now brought this out. So I'm basically kind of hoping that this is a replacement of this. So price wise, this is actually cheaper. It's £2.50 for 35 millilitres and this one it was £3 for 40 millilitres. Now you get less but price per milliliter still works out cheaper. So this one is marked up that it would be £7 for 100 mils where this one would be £7.50 for 100 mils. So there's a tiny bit of a price difference. Although I'm willing to put it down to the better packaging on this one because this just has your cheap plastic squeezy tube. Um, anyway, I have bought the shade Porcelain. It's a medium coverage, semi-matte finish and it includes vitamin E in the ingredients. It doesn't say it's oil free. Um, that being said, I don't speak science so I can't read the ingredients and see if it is and they've just not mentioned it but that seems a weird thing to do. Um, we've also got the My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer. Again, medium coverage, again got vitamin E and this has aloe vera in it as well and this was £2 for 7.8 millilitres. So I've used these today, I've got an application section um, which I'll put in here and then we'll be back for check-ins. Okay, so let's get going with this. My fingers are so crossed. Um, got a foil seal which is always nice to see and hopefully it's going to be easy to take off and not too fiddly. I'm so just using tweezers because they're sitting right in front of me and my nails are getting a bit long. Ah, uh, tweezers ripped it. No! Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Help. Send help. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Phew. Okay, so there's a very, very well glued down seal on these. So... It's just the really quite old fashioned -y, squeezy packaging. It's quite a thick formula. Um, so let's see how this goes on. I've already primed my face. I'm just using my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot because it's the primer I have at the moment that I'm most familiar with. Because um, I prefer using primers and powders that I'm familiar with when testing foundations so that I know where the problem lies, whether it's the foundation. Um, it's self. So, this has got a really strange scent to it. Um, I think there was perfume listed. Yeah, there is a fragrance listed in the ingredients, which mm, I wish they wouldn't do. Um, I think for people with sensitive skin, they would probably prefer it not to have that. Um, coverage is looking okay. It is down as a medium coverage, but then so was the last one. Um, and this is only down as a semi-matte finish rather than full matte. But, you know, I powder anyway. So... I'm going to zoom you in just so that you can see. Um, I've not really got any streaks or anything. It does seem to be sitting very nice on my skin. Um, it's not really emphasising my pores. It's still letting uh, freckles and things show through. Um, so let's see how it copes with my nose though, because my nose is quite, quite red just now. Personally, I'm into full coverage, but... We'll see what this comes out like. I've also got the concealer to try, although that's also marked medium coverage. Which is weird. Because, you know, concealers are meant to be for a step up from the bits that foundation can't cover. So it seems weird that the concealer that they've put with this is marked medium coverage. Although I will say that there's free products in this packaging that say My Perfect Colour. 
There's also a tinted moisturiser and a BB cream. Um, so maybe it's kind of meant to be going with one of those ones. It is higher coverage than them. So I actually thought I'd squeezed out far too much product, but um, actually it's all gone. And I'm slightly tempted to put out more for my forehead. Let's see what we can do. Um, no, I'll leave it like that. It almost smells like nappy cream. That's so bizarre. Not really a smell I want to be putting all over my face. Oh, I actually have rushed a bit on my chin. Okay, we do need a tiny bit more of you. Do 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 So even when I keep going over them Hey, the freckle's finally almost gone. Um not that I want to hide my freckles, it was just to see how easy it is to build this and um, it's not the uh, most buildable of foundations. Um, I'm quickly going to do my under eye corrector, which yes, I use lots of, I'm a bad person. Um, <laughs> can't help it. And then next we've got the liquid concealer from Primark. Do do do. Okay, so um, I haven't tried their concealer before. I just picked it up because uh, my liquid concealer was running out and for once they had one that looked the right shade for me. So I kind of thought, why not? This is in the shade Porcelain, the same as the foundation. And let's see what kind of applicator we have here. We have, oh, it's one of those doe foot applicators. Okay, now these doe foot applicators, I think kind of, not makes, they work with the lips because, you know, it's it's an edge. I don't really love the idea of this kind of shape for the rest of my face. Um, I mean, it works, but I don't know. That's got a scent as well, but it's different. Oof. I don't know, is it just me? Is it you guys as well? How do you feel about your products being scented for no good reason? Um, I think it's just increasing the amount of people that are going to have a problem with the foundation from allergies and sensitivities, so it just seems a really silly step to take. But I'm not in charge of makeup brands, so... There you go. Do, do, do. Okay. So that blends out okay. Um, it's a little bit uneven looking just in that corner of my eye. It's just not sitting smooth, but we'll work on that. up around the temple which is to be honest if I ever end up with too much product around there I do work up around the temple because that's a nice area to kind of highlight as well and yeah it's definitely added coverage um I think it could do with a slight bit more pigmentation because that's still quite visible um Especially considering I put a correct drawn underneath. But I'll see. See, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, so far I'm a little bit neutral on the concealer. It doesn't seem to blend out quite as smoothly as I would like. Um, I see like quite a bit of texture there that I don't normally get, um, which is... I'm not used to that. Um, the redness in the bridge of my nose is still poking through. Let's give it another little dab, 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 dab. And be really gentle stippling it to hope it stays on and doesn't come off in the brush. Okay. But again with the texture. Dude, why do I have the lowest zoom in the world? Look at that. That's unattractive. Hmm. Okay, so if you have dry skin, then God knows what that texture would look like on you, because I have quite oily skin, um, which is why I'm really not used to texture showing up. And then I've got this little spot on my neck. Eh. It didn't make a huge difference. Okay, I mean, it's definitely correct that it's medium coverage. It's not full coverage at all, which I find a bit odd for concealer, as I've already said. Um, I also wonder what the whole scenting these products is going to do for, like, breakouts and things. So this does claim to have vitamin E and aloe vera in it, so it should be soothing. Maybe it's the aloe vera I'm smelling, I don't know. Um, vitamin E is obviously good for your skin. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's my finished foundation. Um, I'm going to go off camera and set it and finish the rest of my makeup and come back for a timestamp check-in type situation so we've got that texture on my nose um ooh, hair near the eye um we're starting to crease a little bit under here already let's get that out of the way um i don't know it's not it's not love um hmm Okay, like I said, I'm going to go finish my, the rest of my makeup and I'll come back and check in with you to see the finished product. Okay, so I've just finished my makeup. It is now 10 to 11, so I'm going to go about my day and we'll come back and see how this is held up. I'm not loving my lipstick today before I get any comments about it. Um, just didn't go on nice, it went on patchy. I tried to touch up the edges of concealer and it started lifting and just <laughs> but it's lip sense so I can't just wipe it off and start again so bear with the lipstick. Hi guys, so I totally failed to check in. It's now nine o'clock so it's been ten hours since I put this foundation on. I probably should have mentioned earlier it doesn't make any kind of boast on the packaging about how long it's going to last. Um, I think we can safely say it's not good for oily skinned people, wouldn't you agree? Um, so I haven't touched up anything at all. Um, concealers lasted okay under the eyes, I would have just liked heavier coverage to begin with. It's not really lasted in any of the oilier areas that I've put it or along the jawline. Um, and yeah, it's... It's not good on the texture front. So some bits of the foundation look okay um, back here, which is where I'm not really oily at all. Um, so my conclusion for this is that if you've got a drier skin type, not even, not dry to where you have any kind of patching or flaking because the texture between these two was not great. Um, but if you have oily skin, it seems like it's a definite no, don't go there. It definitely doesn't oxidise. If anything, I think I should have went a shade up 
um, I'm forgetting that I've had quite a bit of sunburn this summer so I'm not as pale as I would normally like to be. Um, I'm going to just give this a quick blot just to see um, how it looks after that. Um, I mean, we definitely lost a bit of coverage on my nose. Um, I haven't been wearing my glasses today, which is the usual culprit for losing bits of cover on my nose. And this is sealing really quite thickly oily. Um, so, mm, yeah. Overall, I would say this is a million times better and I can't believe that they've discontinued this for this. Um, what on earth? Um, like I said, if you've got oily skin, this doesn't seem like a good um, product. If you've got really dry skin where you get any flaking or texture, this isn't going to be a good product. If you've got really problematic skin where you've got lots of pigment that you want covered up, this is medium coverage, so it's not going to be a good product. So basically, this is a good product for somebody whose skin is not dry, not oily, not too blemished. So basically, if you don't need a lot of help in the beginning. So, unfortunately, that does not describe me. Um, and these will be leaving. I'm also just thinking, these, despite having the same shade name on the package, these look like they're different colours in their packaging. Let's just double check that quickly. I would say that concealer is lighter than the foundation. Um, so if you're thinking you're between shades in the foundation, then you might want to go up a shade when you're choosing your concealer if you do decide to try this out. So that's all I have to say about them. I will not be repurchasing them. I don't even really see myself using them again. I think they're going straight in the bin because I've got too much stuff. Um, if you guys have got any questions about either of these products, please leave that down below and I will get back to you. And I will see you all soon. Bye.